If this was an exam question often shows you different versions of this, it talks about taking a three core cable to a load and there's one conductor missing in your own mind. So you've got L1, L2 and L3 as our three phase say going to a motor and they'll ask you how many conductors will be there. Well, if it's a motor and it's a balanced three phase load, you've got to remember from our electrical science and principles, we don't need the neutral. So you can use this to feed a balanced three phase load with just our three lines and then use the steel wire armored as our protective conductor metallic motor, etc., is what they use as an exam question in a scenario. So it's the neutral that wouldn't be in that cable. Remember, you can also get armored cable three core nowadays that is those colors, brown, blue, and green and yellow. And it'd be really interesting if you're using that type of cable at your college to leave me a comment below. The issues start coming when we start interfacing old pre-2004 cable colors into our new system post-2004 because there's yeah, some, some issues there. And I would suggest somebody was having a really good laugh when our old cable colors look like this. I managed to find this uh, deep in my garage. So our old three-phase colors were red, yellow, and blue. So L1, L2, and L3, and black was our neutral. Okay, so that's the same cable as I've got in front of me here from the point of view from colors and cores. So the number of cores, okay, so old 2004, four core look like this, red, yellow, blue, black, and now we're brown, black, gray, blue. Now, when we're interfacing them, in other words, joining these together, it could be that you're extending an old cable to a new position within a factory and machines moving, etc. We're gonna have to join these together and straight away, oh right, okay, I've got a blue one and I've got a black one in the old system and I've got a blue one and a black one in the new system. Hang on, let's think about this. Under the new system, blues and neutral. Under the old system, blue is L3, so it's a live conductor or line conductor. Black under the old system was the neutral and black under our new post 2004, is L2, whoa, hang on, man, this has got disaster. Disaster written all over it, because if we went blue to blue, so if I bring them around here, if we went blue to blue and black to black, we'd actually have a neutral connected to a line conductor and then a line conductor connected to a neutral, which obviously when we turn it on, would make a very loud noise. So obviously that's not gonna be the case and we have to be really careful when interfacing the old and new systems. And we can use the on-site guide to help us do that. So within Appendix K, identification of conductors, in here, it will help you understand that interfacing process. And as we look here where we've got a three-phase installation, it talks about identifying them with N, L1, L2, and L3. So we're not talking about putting a little bit of tape on, we're looking at putting an identifying ring on it that can't be easily removed without opening out the conductors in order to slide it off. So in that case, as we look at our conductors here, we would identify this one as L1, we'd identify this one as L2 and L3, and this one as N, and the ringlet would go onto these, and it joined to our cable, and our new system we would identify L1, L2, L3, and N, where we bring the two cables together in order to interface them. And it's really important that that ringlet goes on in order that we get the correct connection between the two when we're interfacing old and new systems. And it's something you won't come across at college because we'll only be using new cable colors. Just be aware, looking in Appendix K, have a little read through there for identifying them. If it's single phase, so if it was just a single phase supply that we were identifying together, so we've got brown and we've got blue and we've got black and we've got red and we bring those together maybe in a domestic dwelling you're used to seeing it extending old systems you don't need to put those ringlet identifiers on them on those positions just where we're going between three phase systems